everybody, it's MJ. How are you all doing? Um, I am feeling better. I don't think I feel still 100%, but I'm feeling a whole lot better. And don't look at my nails, because I haven't polished them or anything like that. Um, to, I thought today... Oh yeah, first of all, I want to uh, welcome all my new subbies, and thank you for subscribing. Um... And I just want to say to my sister, Frankie in Texas. Hi, Frankie. Helena, uh, Jenny, and Eileen. Hi, everybody. Um, I hope you all have been doing well and, you know, staying safe. Um, I thought I'd come and share a um, uh, file folder uh, project. Um when I celebrated the uh, the 100 subscribers, uh, somebody left me a comment that um, they wanted me to show how I made uh, my f uh, envelopes, which are, um, they were just made out of envelopes that you get in the mail, uh, recyclable envelopes is what I'm trying to say. And all I did, you know, was glue them in the middle and do, did a little gusset in between and fold them up and Anyways, and I used it to store uh, my ephemera. So, but, so I thought I'd do that. However, I wanted to do a little bit better than, than that. So, um, I came up with this. It's made out of um, envelopes. My aunt gave me uh, quite a few of these envelopes. They're 5 by 7 envelopes. So, I decided, first of all, you know, I said, oh, well, maybe I'll make like an accordion, make the accordion out of scratch. But I thought, no, why don't I use the envelopes and it'd be a lot faster and, and it'd be just as effective. So I used uh, one mini uh, one file folder and I used one uh, 12 by 12 um, sheet of paper. And this is from the leftover from my lab, uh, my lab book uh, project. I had this sheet, so I made this file folder. I used five envelopes, and see, I already have it filled up with ephemera. And also, I wanted to share with you guys, like when you print your ephemeras, <clears throat> and you have blank space in between, this is what I've been doing. Um, I've already um, distressed the ends, but if there's like a blank, uh, you know, paper on the, either on the left, on the right, or either way, on either side, what I do is I I leave that. I don't cut it off. Just in the event that I may not want to use it as a standalone um, tag, I may want to use it um, on the page, um, you know, as a flip. So I, I, I leave that on. And in case I don't want to use it as a flip, then I'll just trim it off. But I just thought I'd give you that tip. You know, that's, that's, what, I, that's what I do uh, with uh, the ephemera whenever I print it. And then this one I had a little bit on top here on the left. You know, I may want to uh, glue these two down and then it'll be, uh, you know, like a, a tug underneath. Or I may trim this off and it could be a flip up, upward and that way you don't have to create you know like an extra gusset on it I mean so that you can uh, attach it to your to your um, journal page so anyways these are five by seven envelopes and this is what um, I'm gonna show you what I did and here I made a mistake when I cut the paper I'll show you where the mistake is so then I had to uh, attach another piece here um, so that we can get one straight piece. Hopefully I won't make that mistake again. Um, one mistake I did, I think I put this up too close to the, um, to the top. I don't know. And, um, I didn't put any paper down here because of the mistake I made. Maybe I will on this one or here. So I'll be showing you how I did this. So, um, stick around. I, I know it's probably nothing um, new, 
but this is my take on it and so i i love these i don't know i just love stuff where i can put um things in and um and store my uh, ephemeras so let's get started um, today I'm going to be using uh, these envelopes. These are a little bit bigger. These are five and a half by, I mean, five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. And what I've done is <clears throat> I take one of these sheets, I mean, one of these file folders. Oh, sorry. I just said I have the camera right next to me. Let me see. Okay. Oh, did it again. So, um, the length, the width of the envelope is seven and a quarter. So, what I've done on this one, I left a quarter of an inch on the side um, for the um, the accordion uh, envelope file. That's what I'm going to call it. Accordion envelope file. Um, so this is seven and a quarter length, and I'm going to add a quarter of an inch on each side. So I need to cut this at seven and three quarter um, width. And then this envelope is five and a quarter, so I'm going to cut the height at five and a half because I'm adding a quarter of an inch. So from this very, from this, because um, you know how the files are already pre-scored uh, um, on the bottom, from the very first one on the top um, folder, from this line, I'm going to measure five and a half and then I'm going to cut right across. And save your scraps. You know, you could use it for other um, other projects. And now we have this. We're not going to cut this off. So then we're going to flip this over. So from here we're going to measure seven and three quarters. To remember our envelope is seven and a quarter uh, wide and we want to, I want to add um, half a quarter inch. So I need a seven and three quarter uh, length of my folder. So this is what we end up with, okay? So the next step we fold this like this, or okay. From this from this score line on the back page of the file folder. I'm going to measure the five and a half. Okay. And I'm just going to make a little mark right there, just a small mark. Okay. Sit in focus, just a small mark. And that's so that I know where to begin doing uh, my, my score on like I did here on this fold so I can get a a round um, folder kind of like you know the um, legal file folders um, and then I'm going to score it like six times about a quarter of an inch so I'm going to remove my cutting blade and I'm going to add my um, my scoring blade so here's the little mark that I scored at five and a half so I'm gonna score my first line 
there. And then I, I already kind of know, like, before I get to here, it's like a quarter of an inch right there. I'm just, I'm eyeballing it. I'm not measuring it. So that's two. That's three. That's four. six. I think I did six. I'm not sure. Let me recount. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I guess I did six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I did seven. I stand corrected. I guess it doesn't matter okay so that's what you do next and then at this point um, before you start um, adding uh, the envelopes and decorating the uh, outside of your uh, of your file folder um, you you want to um, you know this if you want to you don't have to distress um, your file folder and so you go all around I did on the outside and I did on the inside down because remember I have a quarter of an inch on the side so you'll be able to see the inside part too see I didn't do it very heavy I don't know if you can see sorry um, heavily but I did go around just to kind of remove the uh, white edge of the uh, of the file folder so I already have one that I already had pre-scored and um, that I have already uh, distressed because I don't think you want to watch me um, distress the file folder I dropped my my sponge here I guess I don't need it but I think on this one I scored six of them. So I let me score another one because according to the original I did seven of them. Okay. And then you just kind of want to um, gently um, just to kind of make it, you know, to round it off. So then what I did on this, since I'm not going to um, add, a, you know, a paper on here, I distressed it. So I thought I had a scratch piece of paper here, but okay, I'll use this here. And then I just lightly went over and then when you do that, it kind of makes the, the score lines uh, stand out. And I only did it on the outside of a file folder. I didn't do it on the inside. Okay, so see how it makes the lines stand out um, better. So now um, I have some of the paper left over from the lap book uh, file. You know, just love the paper. But anyways, I don't have a lot of paper left over, so I thought I might as well. <clears throat> excuse me, it's my allergies. Um, use some of this paper. This is just some of the ephemera that I didn't get to use. I'm trying to decide what paper to use that I have left over. Oh, I still have one of those pretty pink ones. 
Hmm. I'll use the start one, I guess. I guess it doesn't matter. It's, it's for your ephemera. I need to switch my score to my cutting blade so I can trim off the at uh, the top. So the width is seven and three quarters and the height is five and a half. Um, think I'm, I want to make it just a little, just a little bit. I want to leave like a sixteenth of a inch um, um, on the sides, a border from the file folder. I guess I don't need these measurements here. It might be on the way. I'm not sure. Um, this one that I'm doing, I do plan uh, putting uh, something on the bottom for extra strength. I might do it, do it on this one. Um, but anyways, okay, let me see. So, five and three. Well, I mean, the height is five and a half, so I'm going to make it uh, five and a quarter, the original uh, size height of the envelopes and that should give me yeah that's gonna give me a little bit big um, bigger border than um, on, the, on the original one but that's okay so let's, I'll make it five five and one two four and five sixteenth is what I'm gonna do. You can do whatever size, okay? So I don't know why I'm making it so difficult here. Um, uh, let's go with five and a quarter. So make it easy. Five and a quarter, and then we need another five and a quarter for the back. And this is the mistake that I did. I cut this off in half. But I don't know if this is going to be big enough either. No, it's not. Dang it, I did it again. I should have cut the width first. And then, that's the mistake I made. Okay, I could use this paper for something else. You guys probably knew that, huh? And you're probably screaming at me. No, you're doing it the wrong way. Okay, I need. So it's seven and three quarters. So I'm going to do it at seven and a half. Or seven and a half. See, now I'm going to have this left, I think. Oh my. Let me think about this. And I'll put you on pause because my I can't think right now. Sorry guys. Yeah, I was right. So we'll do seven and a quarter. Oh wait a minute. Seven and three quarters. I need seven and a half. Here it goes. If not, well, it's another paper I ruined. And then Okay, this is 12 inches, so I need five and a quarter for the width. Did I confuse you guys already? I'm sure I did. And then five and a quarter. Wait, before I cut this. 
Yeah, because I said I was gonna, we were gonna have a bigger um, border, but yeah, perfect. Five and a quarter. Is that five and a quarter? Yes. Is the back the same? Okay, so then this is for the back. Of course, um, because this paper really, it can be placed any which way. So be careful if you have a pattern that is going just one way. Or uh, So with this one, it really doesn't matter. And I think that was the case, what happened with this one with me. Plus, um, I really, I was just, I just did this on the fly, so I wasn't even really thinking, neither, so, anyways. Okay, so then we'll do that, and then we need, for the, for the flap, and I'm just going to mark it. Set the mark. And that'll be for this. Sorry, guys, if I was quiet, as you can see. I did not want to mess this up. A second time stay there so then what I did is I did this make sure it's straight and then I'll place this scissors and then cut this off so what have you guys been up to besides staying home <laughs> hope you guys are crafting I like to see what you guys done with those stamps. Get all you guys have my email. There we go. Let me see. Hmm. Guess I need to cut this off a little bit shorter. Just a smidgen. I use my these other scissors.
okay I'm okay with that get some of this stuff out of the way since my space is very limited so I'm gonna ink this up The other day I was looking for my pencil when I was doing the file folder and I had the pencil on my ear. I kept moving around and looking under my 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 feet to see if it fell and it was on my ear. Should have known. That's usually where I put my pencil. I do that so I won't lose it, and I still manage to look for it. Okay, I'm just just the edges, just to um, get rid of the, the white. I'm not really um, distressing the paper too much on the ends on the front because it's already a a dark enough uh, paper. Also, I want to say that you want to use a nice weight cardstock. Um, I know there's some really pretty scrapbook, uh, scrapbook paper, or if you have a digit on your print, make sure it's at least uh, a 60 pound uh, paper uh, and not a lightweight paper. So now I'm going to glue this on. I'll start with this. And I I love this aqua glue because it adheres really well and also it gives you time to move around your um, your paper so it gives you um, time to adjust it if in the event that you didn't place it on well enough the first time because I'm notorious for that so that's probably why I don't really like uh, the hot glue gun or um, score tape and this is something really easy straight you know no-brainer thing but I am I'm I'm just I have a bad aim I remember um, when my sister my twin sister Frankie um, when she was dating her husband, he took us, because um, he's an army retired um, sergeant, but um, he used to take us target shooting, and oh my gosh, I had awful aim. So when my boys were, uh, were little, we got them um, those Guns, shooting guns that, you know, that throws those, um, like, plastic pellets. And we would go to the backyard and shoot at, at um, empty cans. We would stack them up, just like when you go to the fair and stuff. <clears throat> and then I would try it, and oh my gosh, I couldn't hit one if it, if it would save my soul. I just have a bad, bad aim. I just not very good. And we used to live uh, when the boys were little nearby a small airport, and airplanes would always um, fly by, and the, my oldest boy. Uh, Matthew was in the back air one time and an airplane uh, flew by and he started like covering his his head, his face and he started saying, no, 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 no don't shoot, don't shoot and I guess he's been seeing too many war uh, movies he was a character when he started um, 
after he got potty trained, <laughs> he would go on his own to the bathroom and I could hear him because he would always leave the door open. And he'd always say, ready, set, shoot. <laughs> and he would take care of his business. Oh, that always used to crack me up. Yeah. He's 28 years old now. He's not He's not a baby no more. Oh, I can use this. Okay, cool. So this is three-quarter of a lane, uh, width. So I'll do it um, half an inch, I guess. Or maybe a little bit bigger. I'll make it... Um, Two, four, six, seven, sixteen. There. Okay. There. Oh, Mimi J. This. Oh, you know what? I'll use my other. Oh, that was a cutting blade. I'll use this score. That's why I got this little one here. I don't want to have three quarters. It'll be right bef the line before three quarters. Oh, I did want it to cut, huh? Not score. <sighs> okay, you guys. You guys are watching me at my best. Not. Okay. Stay, stay. Don't move, don't move. This is the only thing I don't like about this because sometimes it moves. Okay, there we go. Moves on me. Is this too small? Oh no. Yay! It worked, guys. It worked. Wonders never cease. I have my sister. She's a respiratory therapist. And um, we live in Southern California. And she says they've been really busy at her hospital there ever since uh, Memorial Weekend. Um, they've been having a lot of patients. So, and she and I asked her, are they mostly um, elderly people? And she says, no. She says. They're in their 50s and 60s, and unfortunately, um, the majority of them didn't make it. So my sister was pretty bummed down. That's a tough job. I don't think I'd be able to do it. I'd probably be coming home crying every night. Okay, so this is what our... Um... Oh, Lene uh, Leneki, uh, you wanted to know... The name of the file folders, the ones that I use are uh, Pandaflux. I'm glad I saw that. So if you want to search, because you said you didn't know the brand to search for on your video. So if you watch this video, it's uh, Pandaflux. And Amazon has them. Pretty reasonable. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this to hold this. Um, I'm going to find the center. Okay, now on this one, I think, I think I did it too um, high. I think I need it, I need to do it a little further down. Because um, my thought was, well, knowing myself, I'll fill this up a lot, you know, and eventually 
it's um, it's going to stretch but I still think I should have put it down further down so now that I have this here I think I think I'm gonna put it down here Um, you, um, you decide where you want to, or what kind of closure. I went with this, um, uh, with a string, um, closure. Uh, but you can, you know, you can certainly, uh, use the, uh, the Velcro. You know, it's up to you. Or, um, um, you, you know, before gluing this on, in, um, attach a ribbon here and then you know long enough so you can wrap it around several times um, you can do that you know it's up to you um, now I'm gonna make a hole here and there now I have this little hole puncher thingy and if you are uh, interested to know where I bought this um, I bought this uh, at Amazon. It also comes with um, different size, um, uh, the you know the size of hole that um, that you need. Um, does it say the sizes? I'm not sure, but it has uh, a small one, and this is a medium size and a larger size. I think these are for the bigger um, brats or grommets. Is it grommets? Grommets, I think. Um, when I'm going to use this to punch, the, <laughs> I got this sample at Home Depot. They're the vinyl covering samples that they have. I've been using it as a coaster, but um, I'm going to use it to protect my surface. And how this gadget works is um, you place it over the marking wherever you want to make your your hole just place it hold on to your paper and all you do is and there's the hole and I got this because it's to um, to make holes where it's hard to find uh, hard to reach I don't have the uh, long arm um, paper uh, piercer and I would love to have one. I, I do have one, but it's the uh, the one with the um, the short um, mouth or reach, the short reach. And I didn't think about it at the time when I bought that in, uh, about getting a long arm reach. Uh, otherwise, I would have, but I didn't want to spend, what, 40, 50 bucks for another one. So this was... I don't remember how much it was. I don't know, thirteen dollars. That sure beats having to pay forty some fifty dollars. So, um, am I still recording? Yes, I am, and I need to get my string. I left it over here. I got it. This is the twine. So, I guess I'll use the same color. sure it's long enough yeah and I have these um, are these the brats brats and then the others are grommets okay these are brats so the paper has brown and yellowish um, and a little bit of pink so since Pink is one of my favorite colors. I'm gonna go with the pinkish one. Let me see, that one's a pink one. It's a very, very subtle pink, so it's, it, you really can't tell. Are these two pinks? Are these two the same? Can't tell. My eyes are not that great. <sighs> Let me see, here's, oh, okay. 
Well, that's a darker pink. Maybe they're not all the same shade of pink. Mm -hmm. Okay, we go. Okay. No, it's not even the same shade. Oh, I'm just going to go with these two. Okay. Don't want to waste time on that. So before we add the envelopes, we want to, you know, take care of this first. That was the num the first mistake I did on on the on this one. I had a struggle here with the envelope, but yeah, live and learn, right? That's how we learn. So I'm gonna use this scrap here, and um. I know this is a one inch, but it has tiny little scallops, so it'll work. I do have the circle punch for the one inch, but I didn't want to go searching for it. So I'm going to cut four pieces because I'm going to back two for extra uh, strength since... It's going to get some wear and tear, so we want to make sure that. And then we want to glue these. I'm going to use. Get rid of some of this stuff because. Need the space. So, glue these on. Try to match the little scallops. all over my hands. Sorry, quiet. I'm concentrating. I'm not the most talkative person. So what are y'all getting your your dad, your father's for Father's Day gift, what are y'all doing? Are you going to cook something special? My daughter was thinking of getting, picking up something to eat, but I don't think we're going to do that. I think I'm just going to cook special lunch for my husband. He loves seafood, so I think that's what I'm going to cook. Cook some shrimp. And some rice and some vegetables. I love white rice. That's what I grew up eating. My dad was the uh, cook of the house. But uh, my dad passed away many years ago. He died uh, exactly two weeks before I had my daughter, and she was my firstborn. And then on my husband's side of the family, my husband and I, we only had been married maybe like a year and a half when he lost his dad um, to cancer. So um, all of my kids grew up without a grandpa. They knew my my grandfather, which was their great grandfather, so that's the only grandpa they had. And we used to call him Tata. And my grandmother we called her Nana. So now I'm gonna try to find the center. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm not gonna fuss too much over it. Okay. I don't know if it's right in the center or not. 
Too bad. Yay. I put the spread through here. And then on this one. Bottom of this, and it knot it. And before I I knot it, I'm going to put some glue, keep it in place, so it doesn't come undone in the future. Laneki, if you watch this video. I haven't sent your package out because, like I said, I haven't been feeling well a week. But I have this, um, I have it ready. I don't know if that's how you do it, but that's how I did it. Then I'm going to trim the excess off. And then I'm going to put this through here. That's much better further down I had done it too close to the to the to the top on the other one okay now let's work on the envelopes set this aside now um, on this other and this one I use five envelopes, but I think we can use six. One, two, three, four, five. I think I want to use six envelopes on this one. We'll see how that works out. So I all um, so what you do to the envelopes is these are the they have the the uh, adhesive um, tape. So I'm just going to put a little bit extra glue here, and we're going to seal these up. Just, just make sure you don't put any glue on this on the uh, inside flap because then you're gonna not be able to use your envelope. Oh yeah, I guess you could, but it's gonna be shorter. And then I'm gonna um, just cut a slither on the top of each one. I already have the other ones um, sealed, and 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 I've already cut the top. I wonder if you can hear my husband is singing to the Beatles songs. Okay, so I have so then this is what you're gonna end up with. Okay, oops. Still kind of wet. Okay. I 
um, we're gonna set one aside, okay? One aside, and I'll tell you why because that was one of the boo boos mistakes that I did. And I thought, well, maybe, um, should do it this way. So, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna put glue in the middle. And I'm going to stop maybe like an inch before the top. And an inch down on the bottom as well. You don't glue the whole thing. And then you're just going to glue, uh, put a, a little bit of glue, like so. I need to get up maybe just a little bit more glue. Because these are heavier um, envelopes than the ones that I used. There we go. Make sure I got facing the same. Okay. Okay, and then we do this one. And just eyeball the center. It, it doesn't have to be like super precise. I guess you can if you um, one of those people that like uh, perfection I used to be one of those but I learned to give up some of that can't always have everything under control it's too stressful Hear my birds? And the door's closed. This one will do last. So now what we need to do we are going to place our envelopes you know leaving the quarter of an inch border on the side. I think for this I'm going to use um, the where's the needle? I'm gonna use the uh, mono glue because glitter glue dries so fast, and like I said, I have very bad aim. Plus, this has a really uh, a big um, nozzle, so to cover bigger uh, areas, you know, if, like this is a big piece, so yeah. Plus, I like the fact that it gives you all that the extra time not a whole lot but you know just enough enough to make some adjustments okay make sure we got the opening on top yeah so I'm leaving a quarter of an inch on the side and on the bottom you know not so much um, yeah about a quarter of an inch you don't have to glue it all the way down to the fold Okay. And then this other one here, we are going to glue it on the opposite end. What I did on the first one, I glued all of my envelopes together and when it came to do this side, I had a hard time so I'm hoping Doing it this way, it, um, it'll be easier on me. It'll get easier. So then, try to line it as well as I can. Same. Let me see. Before I seal it, are they 
pretty even. Yeah. Okay. Get my bone folder and get it to uh, Now, because the, the the front and the back envelope, the whole face of it, the whole back of each envelope is is um, glued on to to the uh, to the file folder. They're not going to stretch as much. Okay. So now I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. Hopefully, I'll be that'll work. Put a little bit of glue in the center, like I did on the others. And line it up to the top to line your envelope to the on the top, not not on the bottom. Line it to the top envelope, and then press. See that was easier than the way I did it the first time. Sorry, I didn't want the envelope, this video to be so long, but, so there. Oops, what happened to this? Now we have our um, accordion envelope file. And now you can put um, your ephemera here, or you can give it out as a gift, you know, like for Father's Day. You, know, you might want to make it bigger, it's up to you. Or to keep your... Um, your lottery tickets in there, <laughs> um, like my mother. I made her one so she can keep her, um, I made her a smaller one, um, her lottery tickets. And, um, you know, use for your ephemeras, for tags that are pre-made and you want to protect them. You know, keep them in here. Um, or you want to give it out as a gift to a friend, to a family member, co-worker. I think I'm going to punch a little uh, circle and cover that up. I didn't do that on the first one, but I think I'll do it on this one. I think it still has some distress ink. You might want to cover this up too if you want to. I just, you know, if you're going to give it out as a gift, I would. But because I want to use it just to um, store my uh, pre cut and pre um, distressed uh, ephemera, you know, it's just for my own personal use. So I don't need to do that. But I think if I was going to give it out as a gift, Yes, I would cover this up, you know, to give it a, a more finished uh, look. There you have it, guys. What do you think? I hope you liked my, my little share project today, and I hope that you'll make one, too, for yourself. It, it, it's really, really um, very practical. I love it. Well, I hope you do, too. Okay, till next time, guys. Um, you take care until next time. Um, okay, God bless and stay safe. Bye-bye.